With the FBI on alert for homegrown terrorists, the Bureau is now monitoring troubling cases of vandalism in northwest Washington. In two different locations, just a mile and a half apart on Connecticut Avenue, someone recently sprayed graffiti that seems to express support for Islamic State militants. I don't know why anyone would do that. This graffiti on a DC traffic camera at the busy intersection of Connecticut Avenue and Calvert Street Northwest reads in Arabic, Allah Akbar, followed by ISIS, referring to so-called Islamic State militants. What would lead someone to? I have like no idea. People in nuts. Photos of another nearly identical tag were tweeted in late September, just south of DuPont Circle. That graffiti has since been removed. This is probably a prank. I'm not going to announce it to anybody if I actually plan on doing something. Well, whoever did that, I think, was supporting ISIS. I don't think it's a, it's a prank. Many residents here in Woodley Park say they see all sorts of graffiti all across the city, and frankly, they don't understand Arabic, so they walked right past this. But a few say the letters ISIS -IS did catch their attention. My husband said, who would do that? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. The FBI says we are aware of the graffiti and the photos of it appearing on social media sites. We urge anyone who sees suspicious activity or if anyone has information about this vandalism to report it to the local authorities or to the FBI. But why Allah Akbar? Allahu Akbar means God is great. Nihad Awad with the Council on American Islamic Relations says American Muslims totally reject ISIS and its twisted interpretation of Islam. Looking at these images, he suspects this was a prank or a ploy to drum up fear. I don't think they have and writing is authentic. It could be like someone's copying it. No matter the motive, many say the message is unsettling. It shows that they wanted somebody to see it. They wanted to be known that you don't put a piece of graffiti uh, up somewhere so that nobody sees it. Department of Public Works is aware of that graffiti. They will now look into removing that second tag. And tune in next Thursday, the 16th, for News Channel 8's Your Voice, Your Future Town Hall on the terror threat from Islamic State militants and their supporters. The program will run from 8 to 9 p.m. And we're asking that you join the conversation. For more information or to be part of our in-studio audience, log on to wjla.com slash townhall.